Welcome back to Life and Fork. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy chicken general tassel, tassel, trying to say it right, general tassel chicken recipe. So stay tuned. If looks could kill, if looks could kill. The first step is to go to our refrigerator and grab the ingredients we need for our recipe today. We need some boneless chicken thighs, some green onions, some olive oil spray, some coconut oil, some kosher salt, some soy sauce, and some general tassel sauce. First step is going to be cutting our green onions. What I'm going to do is use the knife technique by pulling back on my knife, getting nice slices. I want them cut at a bias and I want to make sure I don't chop the green onion. So take your time, make sure you do it nice and right. Next I'm going to grab my chicken thighs. I'm going to take them, split them down the middle, kind of breaking them down, making it easier to slice it up. I'm going to start pulling on my knife just the same way I was doing on my green onions, back and forth, making sure I get nice dense slices. This is going to help with the cooking process, but as you can see, I'm also leaving the fat. I want the fat because that's going to help also brown the chicken and keep it moist at the same time. This is probably the most crucial step because it's going to determine how fast you can cook it. If you cook it too big, it's going to take a lot longer. If you cook it just small enough, you'll be fine. The, the recipe itself is quite simple, so just take your time. Next, you turn on your stove. I'm going to be using a wok for this recipe. I like the wok because it's high heat. I'm going to add a bit of the olive oil spray to the wok. This is going to help with the chicken not sticking. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of a coconut oil. About a, one tablespoon is all I need. You can see the, ta the tablespoon of coconut oil keeps the pan from burning. Next, I'm going to add the chicken thighs. Using the spoon, I'm going to move it back and forth. You see all the smoke, don't be scared. That's normal. That means the pan is nice and hot. As soon as a lot of that moisture and that chicken disappears, the smoke will go away. I'm going to add two tablespoons of kosher salt and keep on mixing it back and forth and sauteing it. This is the step that takes the longest, about four to five minutes actually, of cooking the chicken thighs. I want to make sure that the fat from the chicken thighs renders completely. By rendering the fat, I make sure that the, the texture of my chicken when I eat it is nice and crispy, but still juicy. I don't want it gummy. The texture of the fat is that gummy texture. The spoon helps once it starts sticking. The chicken thighs tend to stick as soon as it cooks more and more. So you just take your time. Next, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna make sure that all my chicken is nice and coated by sauteing it with the soy sauce. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of general tassel sauce. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the soy sauce. Saute it back and forth, making sure that all the chicken gets evenly covered. I'm gonna finish it with the green onions. This is it, the last step. This makes sure that the green onions stay nice and al dente, or it still has a little bit of a bite to it. And that's it. All right, now for the showtime. Let's see how this thing tastes. I love the chicken thigh because it still has a lot of moisture with the fat that it has and it's not too dry, but it does have a little bit of crispiness from being cooked so nice and thoroughly. The sauce gives it a nice little sweet texture. The green onions is just a finishing touch. Love this dish. It's an easy dish to make. It's really quick. It's a great meal prep option. Just pop it in the microwave for two minutes and then you're, there you go. If you want to spice it up a little bit, you can add a little bit of steamed rice to it just to you know, add a little bit of a carb to make it a little bit more filling. As always, I hope you like this video. Leave us a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.